Hello and welcome today to our Eat Well series. We're having a virtual store tour hosted by Melanie Burdock. Hi, Melanie. So Melanie is joining us. She serves as a nutritionist for Giant Food. She is based in Ellicott City. She's a registered dietitian, licensed dietitian nutritionist, certified diabetes care and education specialist, certified specialist in obesity and weight management, and a certified personal trainer. She holds a Bachelor of Science in diet Dietics from Eastern Michigan University and a Master of Science in Applied Nutrition from the University of New England. She believes in practical steps to improving health and wellness where no foods are off limits. <laughs> Welcome, Aww. Melanie. Thank you for Thank hosting you. today's store tour. Thank you so much. Wonder. Today's presentation is in partnership with Giant Food and the Howard County Health Department. Awesome. Awesome. Perfect. All right. Any last um, instructions before we go ahead and get started? If you have any questions, please go ahead and do them in the chat and I will monitor that. If Wonderful. I have any questions come up, I will uh, let you know. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, thank you everyone for joining us on this nice Friday afternoon right before the holiday. So uh, we're going to take a virtual store tour today through the stores. So we'll talk about some tips and tricks, hopefully give you some other ideas on things to put into your cart. And again, my name is Melanie Burdick and I am a registered dietitian and I am based right at the Ellicott City Chatham Station Giant location. So um, that's where my office is. And then I actually cover all of the Howard County Giants actually go into Montgomery and into Baltimore County and Baltimore City. So a little bit everywhere, but I live in Howard County, so I'm happy to work and live in the same place. So, all right, so let's get started. And towards the end of the presentation, I'll tell you more about what we do at Giant. All right, so today we'll be in three sections. So first we're gonna talk about understanding food labels. So we're gonna spend some time in the office, so to speak. And then we're gonna switch gears and we'll talk about things to look for in the aisle. So we're actually gonna walk through each of the sections of the store, just how we would do in a normal store tour, um, but from the comfort of your home. And then we'll pull it all together with some tips that you can use for success at home. All right. So in the office, so first off, anytime we're going through the grocery store, probably the first thing we're looking at are those packages. And one, one of the most important things you can do when you're shopping, thinking about your health, is to compare the labels and see how things are and learn about what's in your products. Now, you might have noticed in the last maybe year, year and a half, things are looking a little bit different on those labels. So here we have the original nutrition facts label on the left hand side, and then we have these updated versions. And so the original version has actually been around for 20 years or so. And Food and Drug Administration a few years ago said it's time to update these labels. So what we have on the right, uh, the middle and the right are the updated versions of the Nutrition Facts panel. So I'm sure right away you can see that it's a little bit easier to read. Those calories are more pronounced. And you might be noticing there's more columns on the label. And so what they wanted to show uh, consumers, um, if you picked up a package that you could easily eat more than one serving in, in, in a sitting, say uh, some trail mix or maybe a bag of chips, um, it will now provide the servings or the calories per serving and for the total package. So it's really done the math for you couple of other adjustments that they've done to the nutrition label is they've adjusted the serving sizes of about 400, 500 products. So you may have noticed over the last year that certain things have changed. So ice cream used to be a half cup, now it's two thirds of a cup. And even yogurt has changed from a cup to three quarters of a cup. And really what it references, it references the average consumption that people typically eat when they have that food product, rather than uh, what's a healthful serving. So because the labels hadn't been updated in many, many years, some of the, the, uh, the serving sizes on the packages weren't really current with today's eating trends. So that's why you've seen those changes 
over the last couple of months. But let's take a closer look on this next slide. So just a couple of things that we always encourage people when they're shopping, you know, really paying a close attention to that serving size, but then also looking at all the other information. And I'm sure all of us have certain things that we look for on a label where our eye just goes right to. So we wanna make sure that we're looking at the serving size, that it meets our needs, but then also looking at some other things. Maybe it's fat, dietary fat, and the type of fat, fat in our packaged food, is it saturated or is it unsaturated mono or polyunsaturated fats, which are better for the heart? So we wanna take a look at those areas. We also wanna take a look at cholesterol and sodium. And this is a big question that we get frequently. Um, many of us back in the 1990s, you know, uh, eggs and cholesterol and dietary cholesterol, we were really concerned that it, was, it would impact our heart health and our, our, our blood cholesterol. But what they've actually found is that dietary cholesterol from animal sources doesn't actually drive that blood cholesterol up like we once thought. So actually, the dietary guidelines have removed cholesterol from the label recommendations. So we really want to focus more on our saturated fats uh, rather than that dietary cholesterol. So just some interesting things that you can think of when you're looking at the labels. Other things that we really wanna pay close attention to when we're shopping, sodium, looking at packaged goods, how much is in a serving? If an item is 140 milligrams or less, that's considered a low sodium food. Most Americans, we should have less than 2,300 milligrams of sodium a day. So taking a quick look at a lot of your different packaged goods, you might be surprised sometimes on the amount of sodium that can be in those items. And that can really impact our heart health and our blood pressure. And then other things, <coughs> excuse me, other things you want to look for are those carbohydrates. Um, those are going to be our energy sources. And one thing that we can really look for are items that are higher in dietary fiber, which is a carbohydrate that we don't digest. Helps with our gut health, helps with our heart health, and it can keep us full. So as you're looking at products, comparing to see how much dietary fiber is in this product. Is it a whole grain? And so this is one area that you can look for if you're shopping. If you're picking a bread or crackers or cereal, if you can find an item that has two or three grams of fiber or more, that's really gonna hold you over. And it's going to help get you to that 25 grams of fiber a day goal, if not more during the day. So definitely some things to look for. Another addition that they've added to the label in the last, uh, in this newest rendition is the line that includes added sugars. Now on the previous slide, and actually I'll go back here just to reference, before it was just the sugars here on this left-hand column, or this left-hand uh, nutrition label. But now you can see that it includes added and total sugars. And so really what this means, it helps differentiate between the natural sugar in a product and sugar that's been added. So think of yogurt. You have natural sugar in la from the lactose, but then you also have added sugar from the fruit and other toppings. So it really can help you figure out what works for you related to added sugar. And then finally, at the bottom, your different micronutrients, so calcium, iron, uh, potassium, these are really helpful uh, because you're getting more information now. So now they're listing the number of milligrams and micrograms in this area. So if you're concerned about your bone health or getting enough vitamin D, now you know the exact amount in that serving rather than just having that percentage of the daily value uh, on that right-hand column. And so it really helps give you more information and helps you make those, those wise choices that meet your needs. So we can spend a lot of time on the Nutrition Facts label, but just a quick overview of some of the adjustments that you might have noticed in store. And along with that Nutrition Facts panel too, we want to look at the whole package. So we want to look at the ingredients list. We purposely chose this label because it's very busy. <laughs> you really have to squint and look at the ingredients. And so definitely we want to find things that, um, you know, are filled with, with whole nutrients such as whole grains, you know, fruits and vegetables, and really trying to minimize the amount of items that might have added sugars or added ingredients or added colors and flavorings. 
And when you look at the label, the ingredients are listed by weight. So the first ingredient in the list is the most prominent, it's the highest percentage, and then it will go down from there. So on this label, we have this item, and the first ingredient is the filling, which contains high fructose corn syrup and uh, corn syrup and a strawberry puree. So maybe it's pie filling. So if we're looking at labels, if we see, you know, sugar or other items first in the ingredient list, then we can say, you know, will this work for me and my goals? So definitely paying close attention to those ingredients. And then other things that can come up, the common allergens. So um, there are typically eight common allergens that are, are posted on a box, such as wheat, milk, uh, shellfish. And so this can give you more information if you have any concerns or any dietary restrictions. And so that can give people peace of mind. When in doubt, I always tell customers, whether you have a question about the nutrition information, the ingredients, or any type of food allergy, call that 1-800 number at the bottom of the box. Whether it's a giant brand product or it's a name brand, there's going to be that telephone number that will provide you all the information that you need. All right. So really what we're going to do today, we'll identify some healthier things that you can look for in the store and then how to build that into a nice balanced meal. And then we'll also dispel some myths around along the way. So one of the things that we want to do when we're going into the store, you know, we're getting prepared to go. And one thing we want to think about, and I'm sure we've all been in this situation, myself included, is we want to make sure that we have something to eat. If we have a snack or a meal, that will help lower our impulse purchases or buying a quick snack at the register. That chocolate's going to be a little less appealing on a full stomach. And then we also want to think about, you know, making a list. If you've planned your meals, um, you have everything that you need, and this can help you from buying, you know, things that you may not use in the long run. So that can really save on food waste and your money and help minimize clutter in your pantry. So definitely think about sticking to the list as much as you can. And then when you're in the store, think about how we're going to build our cart around health. So we want to think about aiming to fill our cart with half, half cart produce, uh, you know, fruits and vegetables, fresh, frozen, or canned. And we'll talk more about those shortly. Really fill up on those because we can't get more veggies into our diet unless we buy them. And then those impulse aisles, I know we all have them. We're getting more into that holiday candy uh, area this time of year. Knowing what aisles are gonna be tougher for you and just having a game plan on how you might bypass that in the store. And then using the signs too, there's lots of different signs and I'll point out some for you today that you can use throughout the store to really help you make better choices. And so one of the, the signs that you can use, especially if you're considered, if you're concerned about saving money, you can use the different shelf tags um, that can really help you stay healthy and stay on a budget. So that's one thing that you can do um, when you're going through the store. And then as you're preparing to go to the store, or maybe you've already entered into the store, Check out the flyer, get a game plan on what you'd like to have for your meals. Um, and then also you wanna think about buying in season if you can do it. Right now we've got apples, pears, uh, the squash, the root vegetables, they're in abundance and they're going to be cheaper. And then two, I always love to take a, a look at the flyer and then plan some of my meals around those items on sale. I'd love to save a few dollars. And if you have to, you know, buy a little bit more. If you buy the family size, it might be a little bit more expensive up front, but cheaper per serving and actually will save you money in the long run. And then definitely, you know, those unit prices and then looking at, uh, you know, name brand versus store brand too, really being savvy.
Now we also have some other signs in, in Giant that it can also be really helpful. And these can provide you with information about the nutrition, but also the environmental impact uh, of your food choices. So first we have our Guiding Stars program, which actually uses the, the nutrition facts panel that's right on the package. And what it does, it rates products on their nutritional quality. So fiber, protein, sodium, and ingredients. The more nutritionally dense the product, the more stars. So this is a great way um, to uh, find things that are better for you. Um, so if you're looking for things like oatmeal or cereal, you can look for the guiding stars in each of those aisles. So if I'm standing in the aisle, I can look right, right below the price tag. There's going to be a shelf tag that will indicate the product star rating. Or if it's a giant branded product, I can actually look on the package. It'll be printed right on the label. So I love to use this when I'm comparing items. So if I'm looking at oatmeal, oatmeal has three guiding stars because it's fibrous, has no salt, no sugar, and has one ingredient. But if I'm looking at other things in the aisle, I could compare that to maybe a cereal that has one or two stars. And then I can figure out what's gonna work best for me. Now, on the other hand, we have our other shopping program that's called How Good. And How Good tells you the story behind the foods and it rates them on their in, um, environmental and their social impact. So really it looks at the company practices, ethics, uh, sustainability practices, treatment of animals, really the start from the farming all the way to the manufacturer to the grocery store. So it really looks at just a wide variety of things that impact the quality of food. And so guiding, or excuse me, how good you can um, actually download the app, it's free. You can download it right on your smartphone. And then all you have to do while you're shopping, you can just scan the barcode of a product and you can read about its rating. Now there are three ratings for how good, so we have good, great, and best. So if you scan a product and it has a best rating, that means that it is sustainable, minimal impact on the environment, and overall that company is doing everything it can to be ethical and you know, maintain the highest standards. So definitely two very useful tools, useful signs that you can use in Giant. All right, so now we kind of you know, figured out our game plan, you know, getting ready to shop. We wanna make sure we have our snack, a list, figure out what's on sale, have a game plan. And typically the first place that we are going to enter is the produce. And so when you're in the produce section, one thing that you can use while you're shopping is the USDA MyPlate. And so we have it here on the top of the screen. So the USDA MyPlate is a nice reminder about what we should have on our plate with our meals. So a big foundation of that plate is produce. So half of our plate should be filled with fruits and vegetables. The other quarter should be grains, protein, and low fat dairies. So when you're shopping, think about this plate in the back of your mind. And so remember, we want to have half plate produce. We want to have a half cart of produce. And so there are wonderful benefits of your fruits and vegetables. The more we have, the better. More antioxidants and more fiber, more um, you know, phytonutrients that are really going to lower disease risk. They fill up your, your plate. They can help with weight management and overall disease risk. Plus they taste really, really good. Now we are lucky at Giant, we work with over 40 local farmers uh, during the summertime. So we always ha we have uh, local items that are coming right from Delaware or Virginia. So you know that they are just traveling up the road and very close by. Now, when we're in the produce section, you know, we definitely want to strive for variety. We want to really aim to eat the colors of the rainbow if we can do it. So all those different colors of our produce items provide those wonderful vitamins and minerals that I mentioned earlier, all those phytonutrients. And so really trying to get a variety. And Again, you can pick up those seasonal items right now. I'm thinking cranberries, sweet potatoes, kale, and I'm gonna save a few bucks because they're so abundant. And so, you know, there are lots of things that you can look for while you're in the produce section. You can, you know, if you're looking for a quick, a uh, quick meal fix, you can visit the prepped veggie section. And this is something we have at Giant. 
has a wonderful array of items that are already ready to go. All you have to do is open the package and prep it. So things like squash, uh, zucchini noodles, um, you know, veggie sticks, everything's ready to go. And so I love this section as a great way to give you ideas on what are some new veggies that you could add to your plate or things that you could do at home. And so definitely here, you could say, I could dice that up on, on my own. And so you can definitely get the whole produce instead of the prepped uh, veggies and save a few dollars. So there's really something for everyone. Now, some of the questions that we get frequently when it comes to the produce section, you know, really a big question is the difference between organic and conventional. Um, and really, when we're doing individual tours, it's really about your preferences and your concerns. And when we think about organic and conventional, it's really a, an agricultural designation that, that really defines how something is grown. Um, so we know that you know organic items might be uh, grown differently, maybe diff use different pesticides or not use pesticides. And so it's really customer preference on what they want to have. Um, sometimes because their the growing practices are a little bit more stringent for organic, there might be some differences in price. So it's really up to the consumer. So no matter what variety you like or you prefer, whether it's fresh, frozen, it's still going to provide you nutritional benefits. So we definitely wanna have all those varieties on our plate. And then other things that you can look for as you're going through the produce section, um, again, you can't go wrong with the prop to vegetables. If you are having any kind of meal or Thanksgiving uh, mini get together, sliced veggies or fruit are always a great item that you can pick up and take to an event. But then other things that are great for a quick meal, bagged salads. Um, we have two brands. We have Dole and we have Bright Farms um, that are, are wonderful options for green leafy vegetables. So something that you can find and add to your cart to really increase those veggies. All right. And then as we move through the produce section, we normally end up in the meat and seafood. And so again, we can still use that quarter of our plate as a reminder for that protein. So we need protein. It's going to help us with uh, muscle uh, repair and growth. It can help with immune function. All of your cells in your body need protein. So it's really important to have that protein on your plate. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be meat. It can also be plant-based uh, proteins as well. So really, whatever works for you and your preferences. So there's lots of different options in that meat and seafood section too. Now, we want to make sure, one, that we're looking at our different cuts of meat, whether it's chicken, turkey or beef, that we're opting for leaner cuts. It's definitely going to minimize that amount of added saturated fat um, that can be problematic for our heart. So if we're looking for different cuts of meat, you can start, you know, you typically they start at 80% lean, 85, 90, 95%. That higher percentage, the leaner it is. So if you're comparing labels, Take a look the next time you're in the section. If you pick up ground turkey, pick up some ground beef and take a look um, at the information. It does vary a little bit. And one trick that you can do in Giant, from the bottom to the top, as you get closer to eye level, you're gonna get the leaner cuts of meat. So that's a little trick that you can do. Now, other things that you can look for, you know, definitely seafood. The American Heart Association recommends having at least two servings of fatty fish a week. So that could be uh, salmon or tuna or herring or mackerel. And so this is just another way to have a good protein that's also a wonderful heart healthy fat. Now, again, so these are the different meat items, but we have a lot of other things that are, are very popular that are great protein sources. You might have noticed the growth in the plant-based meats in this section. Uh, we know how wonderful plants are. And so now we're recreating meat-like products that are made from plants. So they might be made from soy protein or pea protein. And so they taste and they look and they smell like meat, but they're actually made from plants. So this is another big trend that we are seeing. We know that plants are wonderful for our health and we're getting a little creative in the mix too. 
Now, other things, if you're not a meat eater, wonderful vegetarian sources of protein would be nuts, seeds, beans, tofu, lots of options, even whole grains can give you that protein that you need. So lots of options available to help you meet your needs. Now, a couple other things you do want to keep in mind if you are prepping anything or buying anything, anything that's been pre-seasoned might be higher in sodium. So definitely take a close look at those nutrition facts labels and see, um, and think if this product is higher in sodium, could I, you know, take my fresh meat and add some herbs and spices at home and help minimize that sodium? And then there are other things that you can look for too. We have the frozen fish fillets, which are great. They're individually sealed. You can just take out what you need and keep the rest in the freezer, which is a really great quick meal idea. So lots of options that you can look for in that meat and seafood section. All right, so as we move through this store, we usually uh, going typically around the outside perimeter first and we might head into those aisles. So a typical uh, area that we're gonna run into next is the dairy section. And so here we have the dairy uh, section on the plate and actually dairy could be in two places. Dairy could be counted um, as a protein category as well on the plate. So um, it definitely can be uh, do double duty. And so typically, you know, for adults, we should have about two to three servings of dairy products a day for our bone health. Uh, but there are lots of things available now that are fortified with uh, calcium and vitamin D that are plant-based in this area too. So you have the best of both worlds. And then also while you're in the dairy section, you'll run into things like eggs, margarine, and butter. All right, so the dairy section continues to grow. This is a very big area for new product trends. And there's definitely something for everyone. Again, when we're looking at different products, we wanna take a look at the calories. If we're looking at yogurt um, or anything that's made from milk because that fat content can vary. So we do wanna look at you know, the, the whole milk versus low fat versus fat free options and figure out what works best for our entire eating plan. And so really comparing those labels um, and really also looking too, if we're looking at things like yogurt, the amount of added sugar, other ingredients as well. Um, there's a lot of different things that can add up in those products. So really being savvy. Now, um, other things that when you're going through the, the yogurt section, you might notice we have regular cow's milk yogurt, but now we're seeing things like soy milk and almond milk yogurt. So we're definitely getting a lot of different variety in these sections. So definitely some things to look for. Now, other things that are great options in the dairy section, of course we have yogurt, which is very, very popular, but then we also have things like cottage cheese, which is another great protein option if you're looking for another alternative, like we just mentioned earlier with our uh, deli section. And we're seeing now, we typically think of yogurt containing probiotics, but now we actually have cottage cheese that is made with added probiotics as well. So there's some really interesting trends that are brewing out there. And then of course, things like your dairy or in plant-based milks. Another big trend, just like the yogurts, definitely there's something for every preference out there. Biggest areas I always encourage customers to look at Take a look at the calories, the added sugar, if it's sweetened, and the amount of protein because they can vary per brand and per variety too. And again, it's all about making these wise choices that can help you meet all of your goals through the day. All right, so as we've kind of gone around the perimeter of the store, one, and we send it, head into the aisles, I do wanna hit on one common myth that people do ask quite a bit and saying that we should only shop the perimeter of the store. Well, I always tell customers, you can find something healthy in every section. So we definitely want to spend some time in the perimeter, but then we also want to spend time in those center aisles because there are a lot of wonderful staples that we can utilize that can really make our meals whole and help us stock our pantry. So as we go through those center aisles, we're going to be thinking about that next section of our plate. We're going to be thinking about whole grains. 
And so when we're in the center aisles, there's lots of options that are available. And when we think about our staples, typically we might think of for our meals, rice or pasta. And so these are wonderful things that you can include. And there's a lot of new varieties out there as well too. So when you're in the center aisles and you're looking for that additional grain for your plate, we wanna think about finding those items that are high in protein. So that could be whole wheat pasta or um, you know, other pasta varieties, like now we have lentil and chickpea pasta that are some newer alternatives that are also higher and high in fiber and protein. And there's lots of wonderful other grain choices, quinoa, brown rice, wild rice, other whole grains like barley or teff or amaranth, these are all wonderful nutritious choices that you can add into your meals. And so again, these carbohydrates are going to help fuel you, but also going to be a great uh, fiber source as well. And not only just in the pasta section, but even in the other grain sections, maybe you're in the bread aisle or the cracker aisle, continuing to look for those high fiber items, looking for uh, products with two to three grams or more of fiber, that's really going to help keep you full. Now, also, too, when we're in this section, a nice resource that we can use is called the Whole Grain Council Stamp, and this is actually uh, located right on the package, and it can help identify uh, products that have some whole grain or all of the grains in the product are 100% whole, which means they're not enriched, they contain all their fiber and protein, and nothing has been stripped during manufacturing. So another tool you can use, you can look for that whole grain council stamp, You'll see it on many grain products. If you see that 100, that means all the grains are whole, nothing's been taken away, and it's a great choice. If you see 50%, that means that some of the grains are whole and some of them are refined or have been stripped of that fiber and protein. And if you see just the whole grain stamp with no percentage, that means that less than 50% of the grain is whole. So it really can help you learn more about your product. Now, as we're in those center aisles, other things that are very helpful, we talked about fresh produce, but you can also do canned produce as well. And so this is a great way to stay on a budget, stock your pantry and add additional products to your meals, additional veggies with no extra work. And so if you're looking at canned goods, look for those items that are reduced sodium or lower in sodium because it can, some, some canned items can be a little bit higher and can surprise some people. So make sure you look for those lower sodium uh, varieties. If you have any original varieties in your pantry, that's okay. Just rinse them off and that's no problem. Now, there's also some great convenience things as well these days too. So they've really minimized the amount of work in the kitchen. So look for different, um, you know, microwavable packs or pre-cooked pasta or quinoa. These are wonderful. You don't have to worry about boiling the water and you just pop it into the microwave and it's good to go. So there's lots of wonderful choices in each of these sections. And then as we're in the center aisles too, we have to take a look at our different spices. Of course, next week is uh, Thanksgiving. We're gonna be doing a lot of cooking. Herbs and spices are a great way to bring out that flavor in your meals without all the added salt. So definitely you know, look at your seasoning, see what you have. Even just changing a flavor can just create a whole new dish for your family. So definitely checking out the spices um, and see if there's any fun ones that you can add in to change up your favorite veggies. And then also too, we're looking at different oils. Definitely we wanna opt for uh, liquid oils rather than those solid oils. So things like olive oil or canola oil or safflower oil, we're gonna be higher in those heart healthy fats and lower in those saturated fats versus solid fats such as coconut oil, which is very, very high in saturated fat. So definitely look for those liquid varieties. And then also, too, as you're in this section, look for different shortcuts. Now we have seasoning packets or, you know, basically, you know, you just add your protein and vegetables to a meal and you have it ready to go. So there's lots of things that are popping up every day in these center aisles that really can make your life a whole lot easier and have a tasty meal, too.
Now, another great section I always encourage people to go down is our nature's promise section. So this is our section where we have some natural and organic varieties of foods. We might have items that are free of certain allergens, such as uh, wheat or gluten. And this is a great area where you can find all the new innovations, all the new trends that are coming out and just find something new. So if you're looking for snacks or pasta or maybe just a different variety of soup or pasta sauce, this is a great place to look. And generally the trends start in this aisle and then they start to go through the entire store as the year progresses. So lots of fun things that you can look for. Again, if you're looking for, you know, allergen free items, you can find baking products, even our different sprouted grains, which is another big trend for this year, uh, where the grains are allowed to grow a little bit longer. And so that increases the fiber and the protein in that product. So that could be bread or crackers made with sprouted grains. And then of course, I mentioned those plant-based plant meats in the deli and meat section. You can also find them in the refrigerated section in the Nature's Promise section. And then finally, you know, we have the deli section as well too, as you've gone through the store. And definitely there are some wonderful things that you can utilize in this area to, to build a quick meal or to give you some different meal ideas. And so definitely when we think about prepared foods, we know that if they're prepared, they might impact our sodium intake, our fat, or our calories. So we definitely want to take a close look at the labels and figure out, again, how does it work for my day and my personal needs? So definitely taking a look at the labels and again, using that my plate guide. So if it's a quick meal, is it a protein? Is it a veggie and some sort of uh, carbohydrate? Do we have all those groups? So some things that you can look for that are great in the deli section, the rotisserie chicken is pretty much uh, a fan favorite for a lot of customers. It gives you two pounds of meat and you can use it in a variety of different ways. You can freeze it, you can use it in many different recipes and it's just, it saves the time and the fuss. There's also things such as, you know, pizza dough or pasta or even different wraps that you can pick up at the deli that are great for meals. And also, too, you can also take a look at any of the items in the deli case. You can see, you know, what, is this something that I could pick up or can I recreate this at home and make it a little bit healthier for my needs? So lots of ways to find inspiration. And then finally, you know, as you're coming through the store, you know, we want to make sure that people are uh, welcome to utilize our pharmacy. And so if you're shopping, you can definitely have your prescriptions filled or talk to a pharmacist. If you have any questions, they are an expert that is so readily available to answer any concerns. They can also take care of any flu shots or other vaccinations as well, too. So definitely a wealth of knowledge right in the grocery store. All right, so let's finish up in the kitchen. So let's put this all together. So I've mentioned the my plate a few times today, but definitely can be a wonderful uh, recipe when you're building those meals. Do I have my fruit, my vegetable, my grains, my yogurt? Am I missing anything when I'm making my shopping list? And this can really help guide you as you're going through the store. And then other things for inspiration. Now, anytime you come to Giant, you can always pick up our free in-store savory magazine. You can also check it out online at giantfood.com. This is our current edition. Uh, wonderful recipes that are simple and easy, and they always highlight new products in the store too. So lots of ways to get some great ideas for some meals. And then also too, if you're looking for something new or something different, check out all the different meal planning websites and apps that are now available. We have two listed here, Meal Lime and Dinner Time. These are just two apps you can download on your phone, put in your food preferences, and it'll help generate recipes and menus for you. You can also check out other websites like cookinglight.com, Tablespoon. There's, these are just two of many that have wonderful recipes and can really help you in any of your preferences and, and food, food uh, needs at home. And then two. Also at Giant, we are in the store, but we also do have our online purchases as well too. So if you don't wanna to have to go to the store, you can let Giant do it for you, Giant Pickup. You can visit giantfood.com. You can select your favorite store, put in your order, 
and then you can pick it up in four hours at that preferred location. We also have giant delivers. You pick a time and they'll bring it to your house at that selected time too. So very convenient. And then we also work with Instacart as well. And they you'll put in your order and then they'll bring it right to your door. So just some ways to make grocery shopping a little bit easier. And then finally, at Giant, so we have a team of 10 in-store nutritionists. And so we cover all of the stores for Giant. And so right now during the COVID times, we've been offering all of our services online. So whether it's an individual consultation or uh, you know a phone call to check in, see how you're doing or class, we can certainly do that free of charge. So we are happy to meet with customers, whether they want a meal plan or learn about heart health or take part in the class, we are more than happy to assist. And then we also have our Nutrition Made Easy podcast. It's right on our website at giantfood.com. Wonderful wealth of information. You can listen to the episodes online or on your favorite smartphone app. Wonderful episodes. We have over 60 things on new food trends, sustainability, or even things like heart health and diabetes. A wonderful resource. And then I want to, and to invite everyone to join our Healthy Living by Giant Facebook group. We recently launched this, and so we want to get to know our customers and our neighbors. So go online, find us on Facebook, and we'd love to have you part of that group so we can share all of our tips and tricks to help you be successful. And I just want to do a quick shout out, mark your calendars. So January 14th, that's a Thursday, we are launching our first online virtual summit called Kickstart. And so it will be from 1230 to 530 p.m. on that day. And it's a free online conference. And we are going to have over 30 speakers. And I'll highlight the, the agenda we have going on that day. So on a wealth of different topics, from eating to, chronic, to prevent chronic disease, to minimizing food waste, and even talking about spices. And so we'll have our pharmacy team and our nutritionists, and then a lot of our community partners and guests as well. So you can definitely learn more about this. You can actually scan the QR code and it'll take you right to the information on the website. And you'll see advertising in stores and registration will start probably the beginning of December. So keep an eye, keep your eyes peeled for that. All right, well, I will end there. If anyone has any questions, I'd be happy to answer anything. So Melanie, we did have one question put yes. from Kathy. Um, it was while you were talking about the deli section. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed it. <laughs> okay, she wanted to know, are there any prepackaged sandwich meats that you would recommend? I use Applegate natural oven roasted turkey, mm -hmm. wheat bread, slice of tomato and lettuce. Is this good or bad for a packed bag lunch? You know, it's, I would say that's that's a pretty good choice. Um, so with the prepackaged meats, we do have that convenience factor. So it does add in the sodium um, and maybe some other preservatives. Um, the Applegate Farms is is a pretty good choice, um, and that can help minimize the sodium. Um, and so pairing that with some whole wheat bread and some veggies would be fine. Um, they're typically for like processed meats. We just want to watch how often we have them. Um, and so if it's for a quick lunch. Lunch every once in a while, that would be that would be fine. Doesn't look like we have any other questions. Any other questions put in, but I do want to say thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you. Presenting. Um, I will go ahead and share in the chat if anyone wants to give feedback on today's class. Um, please go ahead and visit the link there. It's bit.ly forward slash nutrition survey HCLS and include the class title eat well virtual store tour. Thank you so much for joining us and awesome. hope that today you got some great I know I got some I was taking some notes. Oh awesome. <laughs> tricks for making some healthier choices especially as the holidays come up. Yes, yes. And definitely any questions, you can always email nutrition at giant food and we'll be happy to answer any questions or concerns. No problem. I'll go ahead and put that in the chat as well. Nutrition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, too, if anyone has any questions, I can also, I'll put in my email address. If you have anything I can help you with, feel free to reach out. There we go. Oh, let's see. There we go. We'll do that again.
There we go. <laughs> there it is. Uh, well, thank you, everyone. Have a great uh, weekend and great holiday. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.